Welcome to the premiere of America's latest competition cooking show. Tonight, we will observe, taste, and critique each chef's offering. The first chef we will meet tonight is the matriarch of the family, Julie. My name is Julie, and tonight I'm going to show the judges I know my way around the kitchen. I can use a can opener. Oh. <laughs> I can slice and dice. Oh! And I know what some of these buttons do. Uh, like this one. Her competitor in tonight's feast fight is the spunky eight-year-old Maggie. My name is Maggie. I might only be eight, but I can cook great. You want eggs? I can do that. So now what happens? <laughs> this fruit has hair on it. What are these for? Okay, now let's meet the judges for tonight's competition. Sam Evans is one of the judges, and he was chosen because of his ability to eat anything. He once ate a half-eaten donut out of the trash when he thought nobody was looking. People were looking, Sam. People were looking. We are pleased to have the star of the hit show Cowboy Maid, Colt Bronco. Jennifer's favorite food is fish. Side note, she's also banned from the pet store. For tonight's competition, it's chef's choice. You will both have 30 minutes to prepare your meals. Chef Maggie, what will you be making for the judges? I'll be making chocolate chip cookies. Delicious. Chef Julie, what's on the menu for tonight? I'll be making one of my family's favorite. Macaroni and cheese. Aww. From a box, nice. Well, they're lucky to have you. Okay, let's get cooking! Begin! Okay, judges, tell us what you think of their choices. Uh, I like cookies. Great! And Colt, your thoughts? I once ate a 72 ounce steak. You ever do that? Huh? You? Nah, didn't think so. Wonderful. Jen, do you mind if I call you that? Well, actually... Perfect. Jen, do you have any opinions or comments on their choices? They seem like odd choices. I was thinking this was something more than it is. When is it over? Okay, great stuff. Let's cut to the action in the kitchen. Quick question, has anyone ever shown her how to use a mixer? I don't reckon. <laughs> All right, let's see how Julie is coming with that macaroni and cheese. <clears throat> is she reading a magazine? She doesn't seem too stressed about getting it finished. Oh, Bruce Boxleitner, you have really got it together. Julie, are you aware that the clock is ticking? Yeah, it's all part of my cooking style. Ooh, Richard Mole. Okay, time is up! And first up for the judges is Julie's dish of macaroni and cheese. Dig in! 
listen, I wasn't clearly informed on what I was getting myself into here, and plus, I've had a really big lunch. Get in there. Hey, we go to church together. Pie down, churchy, and eat. Mmm, that classic macaroni and cheese crunch. How is it, Colt? I think I cracked a tooth. Excellent. Sam? Can I have some more? No. J-Bone? This is without a doubt the most interesting macaroni I've ever had. Can you call the police? Okay. Now we saw Maggie struggle through her choice of chocolate chip cookie. Let's see how those cookies came out. I believe that's the cookie I was after. Quick plug, got an album coming out. Be on the lookout for it. Tank tops and tea tops. Next summer hit. Woo! That is one tasty cookie. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice change of pace. These look wonderful. Mm. Mm. Good call, J Mac. Maggie, it looks like you are obviously the clear winner tonight. That's great. I was worried since I couldn't find any chocolate chips, but good thing I found this chocolate. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. I guess that concludes tonight's competition. Congrats to Maggie and her get out of my way, those weren't chocolate chip cookies. Julie, your macaroni sounded wonderful, even from a distance. Special thanks to our judges, Colt, Sam, and J. Crew. Until next time, let's get cooking! Two ounce steak.